What up is Marcus with Dynasty Football Dads. We are going to do two breakout quarterbacks and then the comeback player of the year, I think, at the quarterback position. So these are two breakouts. One of them's already kind of broken out and the other one is kind of on that, uh, definitely is going to be my breakout. So the first one we're going to do is kind of the borderline breakout. He had a huge set, step up sophomore season. He's 23 years old. His first name is William. You might be going through your head going, who the heck is William? Who the heck is William? It is Trevor Lawrence. Now, you might say, well, he was a fantasy finish. Uh, he was a top 10 quarterback last year. How can you have a breakout? The breakout that I am looking for is that Joe Burrow, that Justin Herbert jump. And so I'm going to go through a couple different statistics here. He had 4,113 yards last year, 25 touchdowns and 8 interceptions. Gets the addition to Calvin Ridley. He still has Christian Kirk, still has Evan Ingram. He still has, again, Travis Etienne out of the backfield. What Herbert did in 2021 is what I think Trevor Lawrence, I, I think is the likely outcome of his season in 2023. And so his his outcome, he was quarterback two. Uh, Herbert was in 2021. And he had some rib issues this last year, but 5,014 yards, 38 touchdowns, and 15 interceptions. And I think that is all in the realm of possibilities of Trevor Lawrence. In fact, I think it's more probable that he hits that over 4,500 yards, probably over 4,700 yards. I think that 4,700 to 5,000 yards. And I think he's going to have over 30 touchdowns. I think he's going to have closer to that mid thirties and touchdowns, which is going to make him a top five quarterback this year. In fact, when you look at Lord or when you look at Mahomes and Allen Hurts, there are not many quarterbacks that I would want right now besides those or besides those three, there's not many quarterbacks that I would want over Trevor Lawrence. And and realistically, if you're in a redraft, this is a huge like you've got to get Trevor Lawrence. He's one of my favorite quarterbacks to get a little bit later. And again, you're still going to have to pay a good price to get him, whether it is in Dynasty or in Redraft. But I think he is a great... Uh, I mean, he's, he was quarterback six from 12 to 18 after the bye week. I think that that can continue, can continue and will can continue. Uh, again, he had rushing of 62 rushes attempts, 291 yards and five touchdowns on the year. He is mobile. He ran at 4-6-40. Clemson, we saw him break loose even in the college playoffs. Uh, he is... Again, a generational talent, and we have seen now without Urban Meyer, another year into that Jacksonville system without having Urban Meyer, having a back-to-back -back year system, I think he's going to be able to be a little bit quicker, comprehend a little bit better, and, and again, I think he's going to excel here. The next quarterback we're going to do is the guy that I think has not gotten to that point of breakout again, but he, 25 years old, extremely high um, uh, Coming out of uh, college, uh, coming out of Alabama, we're just going to talk about him. Tua Tagovailoa, and the and the reason why he hasn't been a breakout. He's been 15th overall in 2022, had his best year, but 20 uh, 3,500 yards, 25 touchdowns. Disappointing, kind of when you look at Jalen Waddle, when you look at Tyreek Hill, when you look they had Mike Kosicki that they just didn't use. Um, so Tua averaged 10 the uh, for points per game, average 10th. So he's a top 10 quarterback when it looks to average. But the biggest question has been concussions, 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 injuries. And that's been Tua's lifelong story. I mean, he's always been hurt at Alabama, and now he's always been hurt in the NFL, always been hurt in Miami. He gets Devin A. Chain. Here's what I like about Tua. He is a great quarterback, even when it comes to like throwing the ball. But his receivers are so good after the catch, and he's going to have a running back that is so fast that he doesn't have to do much. He just has to get it in their hands, and they can do the rest. How many times did you see Tua throw a 10-yard pass that ended up being a 70-yard touchdown from Tyreek, from Waddle, and now will be Devin A. Chain. Uh, they still have Raheem Mostert. They still have Jeff Wilson in there as well. I love Tua. You're going to have limited upside on that rushing ability. You just are. But passing-wise... I, I still think he is one the quarterback that I am banking on that goes from that quarterback 15 that goes to quarterback 8. Like that quarterback 7, quarterback 8. Like I see that in easily in the realm of possibilities. We've seen some crazy great games from Tua. The four touchdown games, the huge yardage games. Again, because of the weapons that he has. Now we're going to go through the bounce back cat, the candidate here. It is a tough one. It, it, it I see potentially why people don't like this, but it's going to be Aaron Rodgers. It's a bounce back candidate because he's 39 years old and he's been kind of left for dead. 
3,695 yards, 26 touchdowns, 12 interceptions, super rare for him. Fantasy finish of 13. Now, why that is even... It's surprising to me that his fantasy finish of 13. But he was a top 9 quarterback in all 11 of his full seasons prior to this. He's a top 9 quarterback every year. Every single dang year of his million year career. If he's healthy and doesn't have... And has at least a primary target. He did not have a primary target this year. He just didn't. He had a lot of young wide receivers that took a lot of time to develop. My thing, and I, it, trust is one of the biggest things, and rhythm is one of the biggest things in, in, in sports. If you don't have a solid foundation of wide receivers around you, it's going to be difficult to succeed at the NFL level. There are very few quarterbacks that do that. Even Patrick Mahomes, who doesn't have great wide receivers, has Travis Kelsey, who is potentially one of the greatest tight ends of all time. You have Tom Brady. He's always had Gronk. He's had Evans. He's had Godwin, even in New England. His best years have had Wes Welker or Julian Edelman. Somebody that, somebody that he can have a foundation with. Aaron Rodgers is going to have Garrett Wilson, who is an excellent wide receiver. And I think Garrett Wilson is going to have an amazing year as well. He's going to have a huge sophomore jump up. It's why he's a top 10 dynasty wide receiver. Aaron Rodgers needs that. And let's look it through back into Favre's timeline here. 2007, Green Bay had 4,100 yards, 28 touchdowns. Had the down year at the New York Jets. Now, I'm not saying that the, I'm not saying that this Jets will be the, the Jets that Rodgers is having, but 3,400 yards, 22 touchdowns. But when Favre had more weapons, 2009, Minnesota, 4,200 yards, 33 touchdowns. That is my line for, for Favre. I think that he can gain 500 yards, and I think he can gain six, seven touchdowns. I think that that is easily in the possibilities, and you have Brees Hall, an excellent pass catching, running back out of the backfield. Look at what even Mike White did uh, with that New York Jets team. He was fantasy relevant at times. Zach Wilson was not because he that was absolute trash. But I think Aaron Rodgers can have a huge bunch, bunch uh, a huge uh rebound here and I think he can be the comeback player of the quarterback fantasy realm where you look and go man he threw for 4200 yards and 33 touchdowns ended up as QB7 or QB6 and you're like wow okay Brett, uh, Brett Favre. <laughs> Aaron Rodgers is back so that is my best comeback players of the position and some breakouts here those are my three favorite ones for this 2023 season uh, I think dynasty wise, I've been buying a lot of Trevor Lawrence. I've been buying a, 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 a ton of Trevor Lawrence. I've been buying a lot of Tua, and I've been actually buying some Aaron Rodgers as well. And so those are just three players that I absolutely have fallen in love with for the 2023 season. Again, long term wise, Rodgers not going to be the greatest because he's 39 years old. But again, the other two, I am putting a lot of chips and money into those baskets. All right, this is Marcus Sensi with Peace out. Take care. We'll see you again soon.